Are you in your late teens a college student? Maybe you recently graduated and feel unprepared for life as an adult. If you are wondering, what are taxes? How do they work? Should I buy a house or rent an apartment? Then I can't help you. Welcome to the adulting infomercial series. We do not promise and can't be held liable for any decisions made by those who are influenced by the content in this video. Hey guys, so my sister asked me a few questions for a Q&A that I did a while back and I didn't answer all of them. One of those questions being how I goal set. And I didn't really want to answer this question in that video because the answer is a little bit long. So first of all, but prior to last year, I didn't set goals for myself. I had kind of loose plans of what I wanted to do, like I knew that I wanted to either live in Japan or South Korea. I knew that I wanted to learn um, a second or third language. I knew that I wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, <laughs> and the only reason that I am right now having completed two of those three goals or two of those three plans is because of how stubborn I am. Once I am kind of decided on something and I can't really think of reasons why I shouldn't do that thing, then that thing is probably going to happen. And you know, the veterinary thing is something that I did not go through with because I honestly was scared and a little bit self-conscious at the time so that didn't happen but because I didn't do that or didn't go through with that plan I became even more stubborn about all of the other decisions that I had going forward so I delved even more into learning Korean I um, made the plan to come here to teach English because teaching was in the past one of the jobs that I kind of considered doing and that's really just how I ended up here. Now as of last year I did start to do a vision board and I actually had like a lot of success with that um, but I will have to say that if it hadn't been last year, like if I had made a vision board um, in 2017, in 2014, in, um, even in 2019, I don't think I actually would have completed any of the things on that uh, vision board. I feel like because I had this vision board, because I had things up for me to see on a regular basis, the fact that I wasn't able to complete some of those goals didn't discourage me quite as much because I understood that there was a reason I couldn't do those things but it didn't meant that those things were never gonna happen um, so yeah like last year I think just because of the mindset that I started the year with I was able to fully embrace and use um, the vision board system to my advantage and for the past few years like while I've been teaching English and things like that I have experimented with a few number of ways of like organizing and planning for myself on a daily basis so I've done like sticky notes I have relied pretty heavily on my phone at times um, I have tried to use journals but very loosely so like I would have a kind of small notebook that I would take around for when I thought of ideas for lesson plans and I would write them down because I didn't want to forget them later um and I would kind of use like sticky notes and things but that didn't really work um like a combination of those things didn't work to my advantage at the time because things were very here or there like they weren't all in one place for me to see so if I had something on me at the time I could look at it and be like okay this is what I wanted to do but then sometimes I'd leave like my notebook um, at work where I would leave at home or at work where the papers that I would write on would be ones that would like at my desk or I would just throw them randomly into my bag and never be able to find them again so <laughs> obviously that wasn't the best way to organize my thoughts Although I thought that at the time, if I at least wrote it down, then I would kind of remember more, um, and that just wasn't the case. So this year, I started a bullet journal, and I've been using it for the past month. I have actually been using this pretty, I would say, successfully um, in terms of like how often I've been using it, but... 
I really still have not found a weekly spread that works for me just yet. So right now it's kind of like I'll have two days on each side and then Sundays I give an entire page to because that's usually the days when I will go and set up for the following week. That's the days when I kind of debrief the whole week. There are plenty of days when I really do just leave days blank and I would like that to not be the case because I feel like that when I'm using it for if I leave something blank and when something is blank it's more it's actually easier for me to later on continue to not fill things in. So um, while this isn't like perfect, while my stuff isn't quite perfect yet, um, I'm still working on it. I think that's kind of one of the things that I like about having a bullet journal as opposed to the um, agenda books that I used to buy when I was trying to figure out my like, organization style because that was one of the systems I tried to use and it would come in such a way that like, I wasn't really able to customize the pages or the order thing. I'm the type of person where if I am using the same thing repetitively, it gets boring and then I don't want to do it anymore. So um, having a bullet journal where I can kind of do all of that creation and th and plan ahead and think hey this week what kind of spread is going to be helpful to me for this week what kind of spread is going to be helpful for me for this month being able to do that and actually having the freedom to kind of like work things around and move and um create um time for myself to even you know do this planning and do like the decorations and stuff when I'm doing months monthly spreads is nice for me right now I don't know <laughs> how long I'm going to be able to keep this up but for right now it has been working for me and I also have my vision board next to me and I bought a cork board because I think that it's easier for me at least when I can like I said move things around and kind of edit as the year progresses that way I feel a little less like I have failed myself at the end of the year even if I leave things up there that I'm not able to um, complete by the end of the year I can add things that I know that I will be able to complete and so like the ratio of completed to not completed is still pretty uplifting and encouraging for me and then the things that I wasn't able to complete I can keep on there for the next year and all the things that I was able to complete I can take off and be like cool I, I did this because you need self-discipline when you're testing things out and seeing what works for you and what doesn't a lot of the times it could just be that you're lazy and you're not doing it to the extent that you should to make it a habit because being organized isn't something that everyone is born with like it is it's a it's a habit that you need to build it's a skill that you need to learn and practice so until it becomes an actual habit you need to have the self-discipline to actually you know write in the journal or make your to-do lists you know maybe you'll have to set an alarm every day so that you write your to-do list um, maybe you have to you know set several alarms to make sure that you do the things or check your to-do list to see that you've actually done the things so set up your schedule for the day such that it your day ends at a certain time so that you can prepare or write your journals or what they whatever it may be um, it really does take a lot of effort to be organized and then once you are organized things get a lot easier because you can just because now it be, it's become a habit like you've done it for a month to two months and now it's become a habit I hope this helped um, <laughs> and I hope I you know answered my sister's question um, to the extent that she was hoping <laughs> like not all of my room looks like a hot ass mess um yeah <laughs> but i'll see you in the next video bye she's a try to make you hesitate Tell her at a party how you doing what's your name